Hey everyone, welcome to a Deck Tech. I'm Luis Scott Vargas here with Sebastian Pazzo and uh, we're going to talk about the most popular deck in the tournament, Romunop Red. That's what you've been piloted so far for a 7-0 start in Constructed? So far so good. So far so good. Let's start taking a look at what you got going here and uh, we'll start with the one drops. Four Falcon Wrath Gorger, four Soul Scar Mage, four Beaumont Courier. What, what do these do for the deck? Well actually this is the only two power creature for a one mana, red, one red mana in the format, so it's like, let's get him. Bomat is a, a card that I love. Like, it can win games out of nowhere because even when they force their grasp of darkness to the creature, if you have a hazard or draw four cards, it's insane. And Soulcar's Mage uh, won the battle against uh, Villagers. That's the other one drop that some mana red. Dex yeah, run. some people choose to play Village Messenger instead. Yeah, but this one is much better in the mirror match because it can actually block. It's not clunky when you go one drop, one drop, one drop. Right. And yeah, in the mirror match, it's where it's, it's very good. And also against Black Green, which is a tough matchup. And it actually allows you to kill a Constrictor with a shock because it would get an additional counter. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a nice little bit of interaction. Taking a look at uh, the next slide here, we've got the two drops, uh, Earthshaker Kenra and Karizev Skyship Raider. And these provide uh, more powerful threats. Yeah. Uh, anyway, two drops are the weakest in the part of the deck. Uh, Karizev is good, but it's, he's, she's legendary. And yeah, the Kenra can allow some really fast beatings, but it's also not spectacular since it's a 2-1, you know? Yeah, and how often do you eternalize the Kenra? I think I've done it one time in the <laughs> tournament. So not a whole lot. Not a lot, but yeah, I also take out sometimes some of them post-board. All right, so moving on up the curve here, we've got Oncrop Crasher at 3 and Hazret the Fervent at 4. These are the real thing. <laughs> these, are, these are the real deal? Yeah, uh, yeah sometimes... You, on an empty board, it's just attack for three, and you cannot have a blocker next turn, and it's too much damage. And then Hazard, like unanswered, it's just good game most of the time. It's also a card that um, when you're behind against other creature decks because uh, they have more powerful creatures, it's a perfect blocker that allows you to burn them out. Yeah, I watched your uh, last round in the mirror and you, you won with Hazard pretty easily. Yeah, in, in the mirror it's just amazing and that's another point why Soul Scar Mage is really good because it doesn't happen very often but it, it would allow you to shrink him, like uh, put oh, them counters in them. Yeah, you can exactly. eventually deal with him. <laughs> right. Well, uh, moving on to take a look at some of the spells here. Four Incendiary Flow, four Shock, just pretty clean burn spells. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and these both um, uh, yeah. kill creatures and can go directly at the opponent. Yeah. Versatility. <laughs> exactly. Let's make it a solid deck. Yeah. And uh, moving on, we've got two copies of a braid, uh, which can't go to the opponent's face, and then two yeah. collective defiance. Yeah, that's what I. This card would be either this or magma spray, depending on the field. I was kind of afraid about the pharaoh's decks and monument decks, which didn't show like very popular, but it's it's also fine in most of the matchup. There's always a target. And then Collective Defiance, powerful, but a little slower. Yeah, a little slower, but sometimes it allows you to like uh, tr uh, win with not great draws because it's, <laughs> it's powerful, even right. though it's, it's not like optimal. Yeah, T moving on here, we've got uh, the, the card the deck's yeah. named after, Ramanop Ruins. So four of those and four Sun Scorched Deserts. And how do these change how this yeah, deck plays no, out? This is the real thing, <laughs> uh, because if not, the deck is not powerful enough, but this just... It's a land that lightning bolts your opponent, basically, because you can keep a two-lander with this sometimes, and it's a land, but then you can flood and start throwing desert to your opponent. Yeah. The, deck, the deck puts your opponent on defense so fast that you, on turn five, you're usually at like 20 life, and if you're a little flooded, you can just start sacrificing the... It doesn't go very well with the Kenra. That's probably what I didn't eternalize right. him very much. Because you're just throwing your land yeah, at your you opponent. Just, yeah, at this point, I'm just going to try to burn and I'm getting a 4 4. And then the last thing in the deck 14 basic mountains. Yeah, so. <laughs> I tried 21, I tried a larger version, with, but 22 se seemed okay. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, all your lands come to play untapped. That's so important, you got, you yeah. got no, no problems. I actually played out. a mirror match 
and he was on the play. It, no, it was not a mirror match because he got like uh, four voting runes, tap turn for the one, scrounger. and that's that basically put me on the play with an extra card, and I, I won. Yeah, I, I like the, this version more. All right, well, good luck in your hunt for constructed master seven zero start next yeah. three rounds. Pretty big deal. Big deal. Uh, but we'll be back with more Pro Tour Arbdav Station coverage right after this.